guys, this is Lorraine, and today I um, wanted to do something a little bit different than the way I traditionally have been doing my Nail of the Day videos. Today I am going to do in a separate video the actual polish application instead of combining it with the nail stamping. One kind of make it shorter and so that it's not like I end up having to um, like double and quadruple speed the actual polish and stamping application because it does take a little bit longer but my goal like I really wanted to show you how well the actual polishes apply because for me that is what I did find like there's like one other YouTuber that I follow, Arcadia Nail Art, who actually does just polish reviews, and I really found that helpful, especially when purchasing um, the Cirque du, Soleil, <clears throat> Cirque du Soleil collection by China Glaze, um, because there were a lot of ones that I was planning to get, but after I saw the application, I decided I didn't want to waste my money because the application wasn't very great, or it just would have been not worth the money I was going to spend because I probably wouldn't use it but the one time. Um, so I was really pleased about that, but a lot of the polishes that she reviewed reviews, they're not polishes that I can purchase myself locally or even on Amazon. Like I would literally have to um, know someone in some of those other countries to try and, you know, and have that person ship it to me. And since I don't really have... I'm new and I don't really have that type of relationship with any of the other YouTubers and bloggers that um, that's just at this point not an option for me. So I figure there might be a lot of other people who are in my position who would like to see how the polishes actually apply before they actually purchase, you know, especially ones that they can actually get their hands on. So in today's um, review, I'm going to be, um, today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and showing you the application of Flower. It's a new line that's just newly, that I recently just found, like last week in Walmart. It's by Drew Barrymore. It's supposed to be, their products are not tested on animals. They actually have a whole line, lip care, um, eye makeup, face makeup, I mean the whole works. But the only thing that really appealed to me is um really was the was of course the nail polish i mean they did have something that they're called their new lip butters but i've been buying a lot of recently bought a lot of lip products so i'm kind of you know that's not like my real true passion nail polishes so i've decided not to pick up any new lip products and stick with nail polish so i'm going to be reviewing this one and this one is called go with the flower <clears throat> and the other color that I'm going to be reviewing is one that I just recently picked up, which I showed in my Sally Beauty Supply Member Appreciation Day haul. And this is this really beautiful, like, orange coral um, color. It's a mix between a cream and a jelly. This one does require two coats because it's pretty translucent with just the one. Slightly streaky, but still... Um, very good um, once you put the second coat and it's called Tangerine Dream and it is a really nice I really like this one because it's also like a got a really nice high gloss and just you know just candy like finish um, <clears throat> for this one but as again it does require two coats it's just totally too sheer to go with just one unless that's what you like but it's a little bit streaky so the second coat is like dual, double duty, not only just to make it or, or more opaque, but also to um, fix the streaky and patchiness. And go with the flower. That one actually, this one applies so much better than the than thistle or that that I um, show in my previous nail of the day. This one goes on pretty well. It's just the tiniest bit streaky, but. It's pretty opaque. You could get away with one coat if you're, you know, pretty good at applying it evenly and not in working out the streaks. But although the streaks kind of settle out as the polish, you know, the layer settles. So I really do like, I really did like this formula. It was like fluid enough to where um, it allows you to easily work with it and correct mistakes without having where some of the thicker ones where you go over one spot twice and it totally wipes off 
the polish that was previously there. So I really like this formula and I am was really, you know, was pleased with this one, but more so pleased with this one because it didn't have the patchy and streakiness that um um that the other one did. It just applied so much better. So those are the two colors and um when I come back I will go ahead and show you the actual polish application. So thank you for watching. Um Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, I have my will have my blog link down where I also also give other information about the polishes and the nail nail designs that I do. So, um, again, thank you for watching and have a great day. This is a new polish I just recently purchased by Nina Ultra Pro. It is called Tangerine Dream. And then the other color I'm going to use is by a new line called Flower, which um, <clears throat> they have all different makeup products, including nail polish, available at Walmart. I just recently purchased this as well. And this one is called Go With The Flower. So I'm just going to do a review of the nail polish and then do the stamping in a separate video. So this is Nina Ultra Pro. I have not used this polish before. I just purchased it yesterday from Sally's and it was four fifty nine. And off first hand it's seems like a cream, but let's see how it applies. It actually has a pretty nice, smooth formula. It's not quite a cream, a cream formula. It's almost like a mix between a jelly and a cream, but um, it's slightly streaky. So two coats is is um, two coats is probably required just to get it to be. Um, to, to reach the opacity that you would want. So as you can see, this is pretty streaky here on this first coat. You can see the brush strokes. So this is a definite two-coater, but the color is really nice. It's actually pretty shiny on its own. this one just to give you a better view and as always I cap the free edge of the nail this helps with chipping so let's do one more nail and then I'll show you the other color I mean it's pretty smooth and you can easily work with it and if you could if you're pretty steady and, and pretty good at applying polish, you could probably get it to be not so streaky. So it's not extremely bad, but it is streaky and sheer in the first coat. But as you can see, it has a really, really high gloss finish. but it is streaky and a little bit patchy, so I'm going to need two coats to um, clear up the patchy and streakiness, which I am sorry for my lighting. You probably can't see. It looks pretty good in this light, but there is some patchiness here, sorry, here and down here, but once you've 
pretty much applied it, you don't really see the brush strokes once it starts to dry. So let's try flower and see how this one goes. Um, if you've seen my other video <clears throat> um, with the other color thistle or that or that that I tried, that one um, was really patchy. It was a cream with a very subtle shimmer in it. This one is just a pretty, just a flat cream, no shimmer or anything. It doesn't seem as thick, but let's see. It seems a lot thinner than the other formula. And this one actually, I would say, goes on a lot better than the previous one. You can see the brush strokes. I'm trying to do like thin, even coats. It's kind of liquidy, so... So this is almost like doing two coats at once, which I don't normally do, but it does fix itself well. So I do like this formula much better than the other one. So again, like when you purchase polishes, unfortunately, um, well, I guess it could be fortunate or not. Not all formulas are the same, even within the same brand of polish. There are many that you get within the line that you have a lot of great ones and then there are just some that unfortunately just aren't the best application or you have to layer it do several layers just to smooth out the actual flaws in the first coat so I'm actually pretty pleased with this it's a like a khaki color or sand, you know, like a desert khaki. And again, the best way to apply this that I found is let the brush do most of the work for you, which when you place it down, you apply pressure to the brush to fan out the brush and this will help with the an even smooth line at the cuticle so again a little little streaky but not patchy and it kind of evens out once the polish settles Always get messy on this side of doing this nail. The angle is apparently a problematic for me, but with the cleanup with a small angled brush works really well. Sorry, that was out of frame. But all in all, I do like both of these, and since I generally do two coats. It's not a problem that this one, the one by Nina Ultra Pro, is a little streaky. So, these are the two colors. I'm going to go ahead and finish polishing up. So, I um, hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions, I will have a blog post um, up once I've completely finished doing my nails. So, thank you for watching and have a great day.